Welcome back to part 2 of the Bevel Gear tutorial. Now I'm gonna start cut, cutting some parts of the teeth out. I'll go ahead and create a plane. I need to draw a plane on the bottom here. I want that to be on the point of that line. Because I know it's 40 for the 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 shape of the square so it will be 40 here I'll create the plane there so I can create an axis along the bottom here so I click that plane hold control and click that plane it will create an axis across and now we want to draw like a plane here so click on plane click on the axis that we created just then and hold control and also click this line and click OK and that allows us to create a plane perpendicular to to the bottom face of the, the gear there so we can start drawing our, our the teeth alright so to draw we, we're gonna draw an involute curve now the involute curve, we've got to specify a coordinate point. So we're going to use this coordinate point here. Click on that, hold control and click this line and the, this diagonal line. Hold control to select both of them. Just be aware where the X and Y is. Sometimes we need to flip that around. We can go here, we can flip the X or Y around and that, that will let us control where the Invert loop curve can be positioned. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and draw the invert curve here. Go to datum curve and curve from equation. And if you go to this documentation on the bottom, there's a curve, a um, equation for the invert curve. So click control, go to equation, put it in here, and we'll, we'll just we gotta change this later, but we'll, we'll leave that there for now. Click on reference, we've got to specify the coordinate system. We'll click here and as you can see it it's pointing there. We'll just accept it for now. To move that to the top, we just gotta go right click edit the coordinates the coordinate system. And we want the X to be on top, so we gotta deselect that, deselect that, select that first, hold control, select the axis. So now the X is on top. We'll click OK to see where it goes. So it's positioned where we like, but uh, the radius because it's on off the the curve is not on. It's on a diagonal, so it's not twenty. We gotta specify a new radius here. To do that, we can just go to. Hmm, let's see what I can do. Go to sketch. Oh no, we, we can't do do that yet. All right, now we need to start to define the 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 main circles of an involute curve. Click on sketch. Click on the top plane. Actually, all right, we'll just keep it the same. Click sketch, and draw four circles here. Just put it anywhere and make sure make sure you can see it well. Press middle click to accept and um, go back to the documentation here. Now you gotta start to calculate the the four circles for for your involute gear. So you gotta calculate the base circle. You can go through read through the document to find that out. It should be self-explanatory. You gotta find out the root diameter and you gotta find out the outside diameter. The first circle is is the pitch diameter which is 40 that we, we chosen at the beginning. So put 40. The next one is the base circle and that's 37.5877 so 37.5877 37.5877 and next one is 
we just copy that just in case we made a mistake. Put that here, enter, and we have and one more here. And the last one is the outside diameter, that's 43.636. Just copy and paste, make sure you do it right, always double check accept that and then we'll project that onto the bottom face click project here make sure you select the sketch click the bottom face and accept and we created the the key circles project on the the gear now we gotta fix now we come back to fixing the envelope curve go to sketch click on this plane here we just want to measure the length from to the base circle. The envelope curve it starts at the base circle. So we're gonna just look at where that was. The base circle is 37. It's larger than the root circle, which is the smallest, so it should be the second circle here. Just go to analysis, click on measure, and we want to measure from the bottom to there. Just go back to sketch, click on reference. Go to analysis, measure. And we wanna measure from the bottom here, hold control to the point here. Okay. Wanna click on, all right, we just project a line here. So see if that works. Go to analysis, measure, click on the bottom line and then click on that point. And that will give us a distance of 26, 26.5785, 26.5785, I'll just write that down. It's always a good idea to keep your things accurate, don't, don't, uh, don't uh, take any shortcuts, make sure it's right. Now with that dimension, we can go to the datum curve here, right click edit definition, we go to that formula and we just put it at the radius there. And now the, the curve should be on the base circle and we don't want this curve to travel too long so you can just go here and change the amount I'll change it to 0.4 and that will cut it shorter and there you go that now we have a, a, a envelope curve starting at the base circle okay so next step now we're going to start to create half a cut of eight the the teeth to do that, we will need to create a point. We need to create a point on here and it needs to connect there. This is really important. We, the gear do, does not start from this plane because the, from the bottom of the curve, it starts here. And that, that's, that's important. Just be aware of that. And now I'm just going to pattern this, this curve to click on pattern, click on, uh, we want to wrote, create an axis rot pattern, click on the middle line and I'll create maybe two, just two copy of the curves and I'm, I'm just going to um, make a a copy of one curve so I'll make 360 divided by 22 so my 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 key has 22 curves so 22 teeth so uh, for one teeth you gotta divide that by 22 so that will leave us with an angle for for one teeth and if you accept that it will look like that okay now I know that Okay, so now I know that the, the teeth will end there. It will go up, it will go down, and then it will end there. So I need to make a plane there. 
to make a cut. So click on this line and this line to create a point there. And what we're trying to do now is create a cut on the right side. So I'll create a plane, click on the axis and hold control and click on that point and we'll create a plane that is vertical and connecting that point and on this point I'll create a sketch on here I will make use the project tool to create a line from there to there and there to there and I'm going to use the line tool to draw that line to the apex and bring it back to there deselect and make sure that it's a loop it's there's no gap we'll accept that and we'll go revolve we want to remove material we specify the axis the axis is here and we only want to make half of a a teeth so it's 360 divided by 44 instead of 22 and accept and that's one half of our teeth so what happened to the invalid curve all right looks like i did it on the wrong side why did i okay okay so there's a mistake there okay so i should be drawing on this side because the plane flipped over uh, okay just just fix that up just um draw draw the draw the shape on this side okay it's not connecting to the apex there click on reference whoops bring that point out and close off that shape and accept and there you go that's much better so this is what we wanted um, actually we want it on the other side as well okay so I'll go back to revolve here let's fix that one more time let's see if we can flip that over all right there you go that's it that's what we wanted so the the, the bottom half of the teeth is here and we're going to draw the other teeth on this side and one more thing we need to do is I'm going to pattern this to define the middle of the, the, the gap between the teeth so just go pattern and I'll create a axis pattern and I'll just click the center rotation and I'll set this to be let's see um, so we're going to specify a, a small angle so let's set 360 divided by 44 so we want sm something smaller than that we divide that by 2 again that'll be 4.1 alright there you go that's, that's much better this is what we wanted we wanted a point in the middle of the, the teeth here and accept that yep that's good okay we'll just stop the video for now and I'll, I'll uh, make another video for the next part so just follow the links have a look through my channel and go to the next part of the video